be reconstituted with grace and minister grace to become beings of the new Jerusalem. For the new Jerusalem, we need to be constituted with grace and dispense grace into others to do the work of the new Jerusalem one with our inner operating God until we all are in spirit to be beings of the new Jerusalem. Amen. The new Jerusalem should not be something that is hard to grasp to us, rather, we today as believers in Christ are a little new Jerusalem and the church life should be a miniature of the new Jerusalem. We may be a student going to school to get a degree, and yet we are there living the life of eternity. We have the vision of eternity governing us, we do the work of the new Jerusalem, and we live out the new Jerusalem. We may be a mother at home with little children, and outwardly everything seems to be so chaotic. But there's a throne in our being, and the Lord is on the throne. There is a river flowing from the throne, and we can drink from this river and be supplied. And when we fail, which we do many times, we can simply turn to the Lord again and repent, confess, apply the blood, and come forward to partake of Him as the water of life and the tree of life. Even at home with our family we can live the life of eternity, being supplied by the river of life and the tree of life, and enthroning the Lord in our being. In our service in the church life, we should do the work of eternity, which is to work out the new Jerusalem. We need to live the life of eternity and do the work of eternity, being governed by the vision of the new Jerusalem, which is our destiny in eternity. The new Jerusalem should be our enjoyment, experience, and work today. Everything that we see in the new Jerusalem should be applicable and enjoyable to us. For the new Jerusalem, we have six words which we see with the ministry of Ezra and the leadership of Nehemiah. With Ezra, we see the matter of purification, education, and reconstitution. With Nehemiah, we see separation, protection, and expression. We need to be purified in and by the Word of God. We need to be educated with the heavenly truths in God's Word, and we need to be reconstituted with the very element of God in our inner being. Furthermore, we need to build a great and high way for the separation of anything of God from anything not of God and for the protection of God's interests. When such a wall is built up in our experience personally and corporately, there will be a proper expression, for the one sitting on the throne is expressed through the wall of the city of New Jerusalem. This is our destiny, and this should also be our experience today. May the Lord release our prayers over these matters and make these real to us in our experience so that we may live out and work out the New Jerusalem in our daily Christian life and church life. We need to be reconstituted with grace by having God wrought into us for the New Jerusalem. The foundations of the New Jerusalem are twelve precious stones, and the names of the twelve apostles are on these stones, Revelation 21 14. The entrances into the New Jerusalem have the names of the twelve tribes of Israel inscribed on them, showing that the law needs to be fulfilled in order for anyone to enter in. However, the foundations of the New Jerusalem, the very foundation on which the holy city is built, are the apostles in the New Testament. The New Jerusalem is composed of both of the Old Testament saints, signified by the gates of the Holy City, and the New Testament believers in Christ, signified by the foundations of the city. The fact that the foundations are the Apostles shows that the Twelve Apostles, representing the grace of the New Testament, are the foundation of the city. We need to be reconstituted with grace for the New Jerusalem. The Twelve Apostles represent the grace of the New Testament, grace is the source, the element, and the means for producing the New Jerusalem. Today in our Christian life we need to enjoy God as grace. When Christ came, we received grace upon grace, John 1 16, of His fullness, we need to receive day by day grace upon grace. We need to be reconstituted with grace, which is the process triune God becoming life and everything to us, 1 Pet. 5:10, 2 Corinthians 13 14, Hebrews 10 29. When we are constituted with the riches of Christ and are therefore filled with grace, we become beings in the new Jerusalem. Grace is just Christ enjoyed by us to be our life and our everything. We need to enjoy Christ day by day. We need to experience Christ and gain Christ, the more we experience and gain Christ, the more we participate in the element of Christ, and the more we become constituents of the New Jerusalem. The constituents of the New Jerusalem are persons of grace, those who live by grace, enjoy grace, minister grace, work in grace, and do the labor of grace. The New Jerusalem is constituted with the God-chosen and redeemed people who are transformed and glorified by the grace of God which they enjoy and partake of. We need to be constituted with grace upon grace, we need to labor by grace, and we need to dispense grace to others, John 1:16, 1 Corinthians 15:10, 1 Pet. 4:10, Acts 20:32. We need to enjoy the Lord as grace so that we may minister the word of grace to others. The more we enjoy the Lord day by day and are reconstituted with grace, the more we become beings of the New Jerusalem. Our very being becomes part of the New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem is built by God's constituting Himself into man to make man the same as He is in life and nature but not in the Godhead, Revelation 21 2-3, 10-11, 18-22. 
God constitutes Himself into us by our enjoyment and experience of Christ as grace. As He constitutes Himself into us, God and man are built together and become a corporate entity to be a mutual dwelling place, the New Jerusalem. May we be those who today enjoy Christ as grace, receive grace upon grace, and labor by grace to dispense grace to others for the producing and building up of the New Jerusalem. May we have the living of the New Jerusalem and do the work of the New Jerusalem as we are reconstituted with grace to become beings in the New Jerusalem. Lord Jesus, we want to be reconstituted with grace so that we may do everything in grace and by grace for the New Jerusalem. Amen, Lord, we take you in as the process try and God becoming our life and our everything. We open to you and we partake of all your riches. You are so rich and so wonderful. We want to be constituted with grace upon grace day by day. Keep us open to you. Keep us receiving wave of grace upon wave of grace until we become beings in the new Jerusalem, those reconstituted with grace. May our living today be filled with grace. May our labor be by grace so that we dispense grace to others as we speak the word of grace. Hallelujah, grace is God in Christ coming to us to be our enjoyment and our everything so that we may be reconstituted with grace to become beings in the new Jerusalem. Doing the work of the new Jerusalem by ministering God to man until we all are in spirit to be beings of the new Jerusalem. On one hand, we need to be reconstituted with grace to become beings of the New Jerusalem. On the other hand, we should do only one work, which is the work of the New Jerusalem. This is the work that God does in us and among us today. We need to be one with our inner operating God as He proceeds to bring us, His chosen ones, through the major steps of His organic salvation all the way to the New Jerusalem. We want to cooperate with Him and help others to be regenerated, sanctified, renewed, transformed, conformed, and glorified to become beings of the New Jerusalem. All our work in the church and for the Lord should be the work of the New Jerusalem. All our service in the church, even in the children meeting, the young people's service, the service on the college campuses, the gospel service, and the practical church service needs to be a work of the New Jerusalem. When a child is born in our family, though he is not regenerated yet, we need to have the view that this one needs to become a being of the New Jerusalem. If we see the vision of the New Jerusalem and live the life of the New Jerusalem, giving ourselves to be reconstituted with grace and do everything by grace, we will do one work. Our one work will be to make God's chosen people regenerated ones, sanctified ones, renewed ones, transformed ones, conformed ones, and glorified ones, for this is what God is doing today. What God is doing in us today is going on step by step from regenerating us all the way to glorifying us to conform us to the glorious image of Christ, the firstborn Son of God. We want to cooperate with Him in His work today by doing the work of the New Jerusalem. May we all go up level by level until we reach the highest stage, in which we all are the same. We are the same as Christ in life and nature but not in the Godhead, and we are the same as one another in Christ, for we all are in spirit. When we're all in spirit, there's no more self, the flesh, or the natural man, we all are in Christ, Christ lives in us, and we express Christ by living one spirit with the Lord. May we all cooperate with the inner operating Lord to advance stage by stage until we all are in the kingdom of the heavens and we all are beings of the new Jerusalem. We should forget about the sin, the troubles, and the problems, yes, these things are real, and we need to deal with them in a proper way, but they are not our focus. Our focus is the New Jerusalem. We want to become beings of the New Jerusalem who live the life of eternity and do the work of eternity. We want to reach the highest point where there's no more flesh and no more natural being, and we all are in the Spirit. May we do the work of the New Jerusalem until we all are beings of the New Jerusalem. This is the highest point of God's work, and we all are His fellow workers, John 5 17, Phil. 2 13, Revelation 4 3, 21 11, 1 Corinthians 3 9, 12, 2 Corinthians 6 1, 1 Te. 3 2. According to the good pleasure of His desire and for the highest intention in His economy, the processed and consummated triune God is building Himself into us, His chosen people, and He is building us into Himself so that He may gain the new Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem is a constitution in Christ, a mingling of divinity and humanity to be the organism of the triune God, the body of Christ, as His eternal expression and the mutual abode for the redeeming God and the redeemed man. Hallelujah! And the ultimate consummation of this miraculous structure of treasure will be the New Jerusalem. Praise the Lord! Today we are privileged to know and see the vision of the New Jerusalem, and we can cooperate with the Lord to do the work of the New Jerusalem to become beings of the New Jerusalem and bring others into their spirit to be part of the New Jerusalem. Praise you, Lord! for your highest intention in your economy to build yourself into us and build us into yourself so that you may gain the mingling of divinity and humanity, the body of Christ consummating in the New Jerusalem. Hallelujah, God today is doing the work of the New Jerusalem in us to regenerate us, sanctify us, 
renew us, transform us, conform us and glorify us to make us beings of the new Jerusalem. Amen, Lord, we want to cooperate with you to do the work of the new Jerusalem today. We want to be one with the inner operating God to make God's chosen ones regenerated ones, sanctified ones, renewed ones, transformed ones, conformed ones, and glorified ones. Amen, Lord, may we all ascend level by level until we reach the highest point where we become the same, we are all in spirit. Praise the Lord, we will all live in the mingled spirit for eternity to be part of God's corporate expression in humanity forever. Praise the Lord for the new Jerusalem, the miraculous structure of treasure.